Let's go live to Liberal MP, member for Menzies, Keith Wallahan. What do you make of this story, the Facebook owner, Meta, not renewing its deals for news content with news organisations in Australia? Thank you, Kieran. We're still digesting this. Uh, I, I don't think you can um, overestimate how important this is. Uh, our liberty and our democracy depends upon freedom of the press. And whilst we may clash with your organisation or other media organisations, when I look up to the press gallery, uh, you're a fundamental part of our democracy. Uh, but you don't do it for free and um, someone has to pay for the rent and the lights and the salaries and that comes through advertising. So for Meta to gain the benefit of that and all of the other advertising revenue they get and then not fairly compensate for it, that's a real problem commercially but also for our democracy. And that code that was initiated three years ago, led by Josh Frydenberg, was world-leading, world-leading. So um, I, I think the government should, in the first instance, digest what happened, consult widely and take it very seriously. Rod Sims believes that it's the company Meta showing disdain, not just for news organisations, but for our democracy, for our polity, for our policy makers. What do you think of that? I think he's right. I think he's right. Uh, I, as I said before, I, we, we rely upon a free press and the free press relies upon a fair return for the work that you do and a fair return is obtained through advertising revenue. Uh, so we should take this seriously. And with the government, they're going to respond. They've issued a statement encouraging, saying that they back the code, they support the news bargaining code, which was encouraging to hear. We're going to uh, obviously hear from the ministers themselves shortly. What would you like to here when they speak to the cameras a bit later today? Just that acknowledgement that this isn't just another issue to deal on, with on another day. Uh, this is a fundamental one. Uh, and other than that, we'll wait and see what they have to say. Uh, it, it would be irresponsible for, for me, again, without talking to my other colleagues and our Shadow Minister, David Coleman, uh, sure. to uh, dictate a position. But, but just that they take it seriously. If they do that, then they're off to the right start. Got the Dunkley by-election tomorrow. Big news in the world of politics. Do you have a sense of optimism that your candidate, Nathan Conroy, can get across the line and win it back for the Liberal Party? I do. I, I do have a sense of optimism. And anyone who meets Nathan Conroy uh, couldn't help but have that optimism. It's infectious. It, it comes from him. Uh, he's uh, an Australian story, an Australian dream. He came here as a 19-year-old. Uh, he came for love. And now he is seeking to earn the trust of an electorate and represent an area in our parliament, which is a great honour. Uh, it will be close. Uh, we don't know what will happen. Um, but whatever happens, the public always get it right. And uh, I wish the voters of Dunkley the very best in making that decision tomorrow. When you, you've... Uh, I know you've spent a bit of time in Dunkley as well. What, what are the big issues that are driving the... This campaign, obviously, cost of living is the first among them. The issues are very similar in Dunkley to my electorate. We're a similar distance from the centre of, the, of Melbourne. Uh, cost of living. And then it's daylight to the other issues. Um, when people have seen electricity rise by 20%, food by 9%, gas by 27%, and then mortgages uh, are just through the roof, people are really hurting really hurting. So that is the number one issue. Housing is an issue in Dunkley as well as in my seat and, and also crime. It's, it's primarily a state issue, but people are noticing that there is an increase in crime in the community in Melbourne. Keith Wallahan, Member for Menzies, appreciate your time. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.